including some of them in this room, feel as though September is one of the nicest months of the year here. And what we're seeing this week, Mallory, is kind of living up to that. Yeah, it's exactly what we'd love in September, and we're going to roll it right into October. So if you haven't done the apple picking yet, the pumpkin picking, and you want to have that perfect fall weather with it, maybe even that pumpkin spice latte, it is this weekend, <laughs> and it is this next couple of weeks. So we are looking at a really quiet weather pattern, and part of that's the high pressure parked over us, and that's part of the reason everything from Ian is staying to the south but we are bringing some cool air tonight. So frost advisories and freeze warnings are out for the interior tonight. So we're talking parts of Northern Oxford, Northern Somerset, Northern Franklin counties are under those freeze warnings. And then as you get a little bit closer to the, the inland areas, Southern Oxford, Androscoggin, those areas are going to be into those frost advisories. So that's what we're going to see tonight. Tomorrow we start to see some of those high level clouds from Ian move in, but overall it's a really quiet pattern. We do see those thick clouds well to our south. So we're going to start to get bands of those in as we head into the coming days. But that's the only effect we're really going to be seeing, at least here in Maine and most of New England, from Ian itself. Temperatures are into the low 60s along the coastline, currently 50s as you make your way into the interior and much cooler for the high terrain. If you do have hikes planned the next couple of days or over the weekend and you are going into the higher terrain areas, keep in mind, you're, you should expect temperatures that are into the 30s and 40s, not counting for wind chill. So just want to prepare for those conditions as well. Heading into this afternoon evening, you'll have a chill in the air. Make sure you have that jacket this afternoon, especially if you're out in the nighttime. And as the kids are waking up for Friday morning, it is going to be a cooler bus stop, especially inland. Southern Maine may get a few of those cloud bands in during the overnight. That'll keep temperatures a degree or two warmer, but overall 35 to 45 during the overnight. Friday's that mix of sun and clouds as we start to get those outer high-level cloud bands from Ian. For the most part, that's all we see Friday night into Saturday morning as well. The thicker clouds will start to come in as we get into Saturday as well as Sunday. So we're going to keep these temperatures, keep this air mass, but have less sunshine. So it will feel a little bit cooler over the weekend. Over the next 12 hours, we're looking at those temperatures, really taking a dive once we lose that sunshine. You see about five degrees in, for every two hours we're losing. The latest on Ian, a tropical storm now, of course, re-emerging into the Atlantic, where Ian is expected to strengthen before then taking a left turn into South Carolina. Winds right now at 70 miles per hour. That pressure not nearly as low as it was before it made landfall onto the west coast of Florida. So as a Category 1 hurricane, it is expected to make landfall on the coast of South Carolina heading into Friday morning. Of course, we'll keep you very closely updated on Ian's track and forecast. On the water here, temperatures about 59. Winds will be north about 10 to 20 knots and seas are at 3 to 4 feet. Next couple of days, it's really quiet. Even next week, which is great in terms of planning, not great in terms of water, because we do need to get a little bit of some rain here and there, and we're not seeing any of it. This weekend is going to be a bit cool, so if you're looking, like I said, for that perfect fall weekend opportunity, that is this weekend. We'll stay dry with temperatures low 60s during the day, 40s at night, for at least the next week. That's the good stuff. Thank you, Mallory.